Hello everybody. This is Beetleman69. Thank you for stopping in on my channel. Um today I'm gonna do a different type of video. Um it's not gonna be a Beetle video or anything like that, but um it's the thirtieth anniversary of the Striper album Against the Law. It was released on August 21st, 1990. It peaked at number 25 on the uh, Christian charts. I think it was even a lot lower. Well, I mean, I will say lower. You know, lower like in higher than 25 on, on the uh, billboard and all that. The album initially didn't sell very well at the time. Um, this is my... Uh, South Korean pressing of it on on, the, on vinyl. Um, it was never released on a, on vinyl in the United States, only on CD and cassette. And here's the lyric sheet. Here's the back cover. So get glare out of there. Same on both sides. And <clears throat> this is my CD copy that I bought originally. I bought this in 91. I'll explain to you why I waited till then to buy it. But um, as many of y'all know, they were a Christian rock band in the 80s. The glam metal scene. Um, they had taken a lot of heat from uh, Christian circles, uh, certain evangelists uh, came after him, especially around 1986, he was even on TV, on the news, complaining how they're not Christian because they got long hair, <clears throat> they play that type of music, you know, that kind of thing. So by 1989, when they came off in the In God We Trust tour, they started rehearsing for this album. <clears throat> And the record label wanted them to go in a different direction uh, with their image and their music. And uh, so they dropped all the yellow and black. And as you like to say, see here, more of a, you know, just whatever. You know, dress like how they really want to dress. And uh, so um, <clears throat> I was watching a Michael Sweet interview. Like, uh, not too long ago, maybe last year, maybe it was earlier this year, he said he wasn't a big fan of the transition, but he's went along with it anyway, is what he said. Um, I didn't buy this. I didn't buy this initially when it came out. Uh, I, being that I listened to the Christian music, rock music, when they when the image change came about, um, you know, back then they didn't have the internet. So, you know, you had information just trickling through magazines and, you know, from, you know, magazines mainly, rock magazines. So, you know, it was kind of like just trickling in little by little. But then when it came down to it, uh, when this came out and they weren't singing Christian music anymore, well, at least on this album, uh, you know, I just, it kind of, for me, it was a turn off. Um. Uh, I didn't know what to make of it. I don't think a lot of Striper fans from the 80s that followed them in the 80s knew what to think of it either. Um, I'm sure they lost some fans at the time and gained some new ones. Um, but I had bought this compilation that, that was put out in um, 1991 entitled Can't Stop the Rock. It's basically just the generality of their songs through Against the Law in 1990. And there's two Against the Law songs that were on here, Lady and Two Bodies, One Mind, One Soul. So when I bought this and um, I listened to the songs from Against the Law, the two that are on here, 
I thought, well, they're not bad, you know. So when I did that, when I went went to order this, I ordered from Camelot Music, and anyone have to remember that a mainstream record store. I miss it; it's gone, like the rest of them. But I ordered this from them, and I really enjoyed this, to be honest. And like I said, it's more of a standalone album than uh than the rest of them because this was only like one real mainstream album they made uh, of course it was the only one they made and then they broke up well Michael Sweet left the band in 92 um, so to do other things but anyway um, I like to just talk about the songs on here and stuff and uh, so the centerpiece broke out. It was like that when I bought it. But that's the CD. See a new logo. They had their new logo at the time. They changed it from the traditional one. And uh, the little booklet. And they had, in special thanks, they had God in here. But they put his name. Way down there, where my finger is. I'll see that, but where my finger is. That's where they put it. Um, like you know, this was their rebellious album. They were, I don't think so much rebelling against God because there's no songs on here that were actually are directly rebelling against God, which there isn't any. Um, there's no. They're not hating on God in here or anything like that. Uh, mainly, it was just a, a new direction for them. But they were rebelling against the people who criticized them. And, and you know, and they, I guess they had enough. So they said, well, if you, hey, if you don't think we're a Christian band, we'll show you we're not. Well, you know, give, we won't, we'll do something so you can't criticize us. We'll just make, we'll, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, the CD or the album was, was produced by Tom Worman. He produced Rat, Molly Crew, and other bands. Um, this is really a, really a great album, though. I mean, I think it helped them in some ways. You know, they kind of broke away from the glam rock, you know, image and went more towards... A hardcore, hard rock, metal. Um, so, um, I'm just going to talk about the different songs on here. I'm not going to review it, you know, but I'm just going to just talk about each one. Um, and I'll put a link below in, my, in the description. I think there's a whole lot. This album as a whole was on YouTube. And, um, the first single that came off this, actually the only single that came off of this uh, album, they did a cover tune, cover tune of "Shining Star," which was the Earth, Wind, and Fire cover, and uh, they really put their heart and soul into that song, and uh, that really that song really kicks butt. It's really a great song. Um, they got they made a video for it. It was the first video they made. Um, they made two other videos, um, Lady, and they did Two Time Woman, which I read today online that when they made a video for Lady and Two Time Woman, they had to make both of them videos in the same day because they were crunched for money. And I don't know if um, when they made Shining Star, it took a lot, a lot of their money to make it because it was really a well-produced video. And the other, like the other two uh, uh, videos I was talking about, Lady and um, Two uh, Two Time Woman, were you could tell they weren't really a lot put into it. But it was like more basic. And uh, so there's track listing again. So that being said. Uh, We'll start off with uh, the title track, which starts off the album, uh, Against the Law. Uh, there, there, 
I was looking, watch, then I was looking, I was listening to this song on YouTube. I was reading through the comments. One guy said, uh, made a comment that a uh, song against the law would, would destroy the band right there and there. <clears throat> because, well, basically, the rebellion against the people that was hating on them. And um, the lyrics say, uh, day after day, I feel like giving up. Yes, I do. I lived your way, but was that good enough? Not for you. You've got to point your finger. You think you know it all. I want you to remember, I don't live for you because I'm against your laws. Because they were trying to put laws upon the the group, saying you ain't doing this right. Um, you know, you you know, you're not playing these songs like they should be played. You're they're too heavy. Blah blah blah. You know that kind of thing. And I, I guess they got pretty much got tired of it. Um. And um, and they sing, "Can you hear me? I've just got to say one thing more. I'll I'll say it clearly. Stay out of my way. That's for sure. You know, they really they really were getting really fed up with these people." Um, and then at the end, the uh, last, uh, uh, stanza of the song, um, then they clarify that, uh, they are not walking away from their faith and whatnot. It says, we, we still got the fire burning in our soul. But we're just rocking harder to make our music roll. So, you know, they were stating, hey, we're not we're not turned away. We're just getting tired of y'all. Tired of your tired of y'all coming down on us. Um, but so like I said, that song is what killed the band. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um But like I said, you know, these um a lot of these songs have moral values to them. And uh, so it's not really a bad album or bad lyrics or, you know, or anti-Christian lyrics. It's just more everyday, you know, human uh, view of, uh, you know, d different situations. Um, Two-time woman talks about somebody that was cheating on the, on the narrator. And... Um, says here, living life on a wire, never knowing what you do, or never know, I'm sorry, never knowing what to do, crying to find me a reason to stay with you, then I saw you with someone, but babe, now I know, you know, he's, he's basically talking about, um, the woman cheating on him, uh, and our part of the song goes, um, Hanging out at a party, all my friends everywhere. I thought you were right beside me, but you weren't there. Then I caught you with someone else. That's the end of the show. And um, basically he was saying, you know, that's how you're going to be. You know, it's over with. You know, and it's like there's moral values to these songs. Uh, Rock the People is a little rocker, um, more of a biographical kind of song. Um Talking about, uh, from the time I was a boy, I know what I was born to do. Instead of playing with my toys, I played my songs, that's all I knew. And with a guitar in my hand every day, my heart and soul would always say, rock the people. And that's a pretty good rocker. Um, two bodies, one mind, one soul. It's another good re uh, relationship song. Um... You know, when you're married, you're two, you're two, you're two people in, as one. And uh, the song basically talking about patching up um, a relationship. Like I said, these are you know moral songs. Uh, it says here, um, too many days go by when we don't see eye to eye. We hold the key that will open up the door. I just wish we could give just a little more. And uh, what I love about this song too is um, it's got a nice uh, guitar riff at the beginning of the song. Um, 
really really cool guitar riff um, and the last verse says I swore that I'd never give up on you and you said that you would see this through so let's light the fire that will burn the wall to the ground let's find what we thought we could never be found you see it's a really you know moral songs um, not that kind of guy. Um, I, I kind of think it's a more of a filler track, to be honest. Uh, but it's a good song, though. Uh, and then side, side one, I think. I believe it does. No, it doesn't. Shining Star begins side two. On the record on this, it just continues. But Not That Kind of Guy is a, is a moral song. Um... It says I see you looking at me, baby. I knew what's I know what's on your mind. I just want to come. You just want to come to my place and have a real good time, even though you look so fine. My reputation's on the line. I don't give my love away for free, so baby, don't you throw yourself at me. See, it's, it's just moral thought process with that song. And, it's, and like I said, it's a, it's a filler track, I think, but uh. But I think it's a, you know, has good moral values to it. Um, next song, Ordinary Man. Um, I think it's a good song. I I think it's another, another filler track. It's not a real strong song, but it's it's okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Lady, one of my favorites on here. Um, it was a video made for it, like I said before. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, has a nice little acoustic um, uh, intro to it, and then uh, Oz Fox's lead guitar takes up after that. Um, it's a pretty decent song. I think it's really great. It's a nice little ballad. I think they even still play it today on their concerts. Well, when they have a concert, I think they play it from time to time. Um, Shining Star, which opens side two on the record. Um, the lyrics are not in here, but everybody should know that song. Uh, it's really a killer song. Like I said, I think it was the first demo. It was they made a demo of it, and they gave it to Tom Worman because. He didn't because they really wanted him to produce this record. In the, in the past, I don't know if it was on God We Trust or To Hell the Devil. They tried to get him to produce their album, and he absolutely refused. But once they, I guess, once they went went in this direction, he uh, took him up on it. Um, but yeah, Shining Star is a really great song, and it's on YouTube. I mean, you can pull it up. Uh, Caught in the Middle. It's a really great, really great song, too. Uh, it goes, you've been working hard, trying to make your life appealing. You've got no regard. You don't know what the hell you're feeling. You've got everything. Live like a king, but how will you live tomorrow? That's a good thought. Um, it says, um... You're, you're caught in the middle, and you don't know which way to go. Turn it around. Come back to the ground before you break and lose control. Good advice. Uh, it goes on saying, uh, are you here at all, or are you at the point of no return? You've got to make a call. You've got to make a choice before you get burned. You've got what it takes. Make no mistakes. Don't live life in sorrow. And it goes on to the chorus. And like I said, it's a really cool song. Um, back in 2003, I went to go see these guys up in Atlanta, Georgia. And they played this song live. But they said, what the heck do you... He, but he, they put heck instead of hell um, when, they, when they did this. They didn't, they didn't use the hell word. Um, all for one. All for One is a really great song, and I think it's so relevant today. I think this song here was ahead of its time. Um, it really is. It really, it it really would apply to to today's uh, world. Um, 
It says, take a look around. Won't you tell me what you see? Is there love to be found in this world's pain and misery? Tell me, will it ever, will it ever change? All for one and one for all. Isn't that the way that it should be? We will, we, will we ever change this world? United we stand up tall. United we will never fall. It was all for one and one for all. Uh, days are going by. It's up to you to make a start. Before this earth of ours turns, before this earth of ours turns to dust and falls apart. Right now, I know we can make a change. And he goes on to, going on to the chorus. That's a really a great song. I love it. And the last song is probably, in my opinion, the heaviest song on the album. It's called Rock the Hell Out of You. Now, this song, in my opinion, um, is back to message, but uh, indirectly, but it, it has the Christian theme to it to a certain extent, at least the idea. Um... And uh, this song really, really, really heavy. I think it's one of the heaviest, or well, the heaviest song I think up to this point. Um, it says, "We're the thundering sons, we're the undying ones. With the power of good, evil has never won. With armies from heaven, we have fought with the rage. It's all in the rhythm." and the fire coming from the stage. Now, so we fought with the rage. It's past tense. So they may be referencing their old days as when they did, the, when they were doing the, when they were doing, you know, making the Christian albums. Uh, to me, I'm just, this is, I'm just reading into it. Um, then it said, we will rock the hell out of you. We will rock the hell out of you. And then it goes, um, in the streets, Every day we search for anyone who will fight anyway until the battle's won. We thrust in our sabers with the words that we sing. It's all in the rhythm and the power coming from the stage. Uh, my opinion is we thrust in our sabers. We'll be maybe referencing the Bible because in the Bible it says that um, that uh, the the Word of God is a two-edged sword cuts both ways and I'm sure saber is what is a, which is a sword and it may be just uh, referencing that um, what I think and then uh, they sing the chorus and then they go back and they sing with armies from, from heaven we will fight with a rage it's all in the rhythm and the power and the fire coming from the stage so um, armies from heaven referencing angels, uh, and then we and, it's, and then it's like more like it's now current. We will fight with a rage, present tense. So, and then um, of course the fire coming from the stage could be you know the power of God, but um, I think it's more that was on message, um, but in an indirect way. So, yeah, great album, uh, great album. If you never heard it, never heard it, um, I'll put some links in the description box and you can check it out for yourself and uh, let me know what you think. I think it's a really killer album. Um, like I said, it's a standalone album. And then, you know, after, in 92, Michael had left the the band pursue a solo career and then they got back together in 2000 uh, 2003 I think 2002 something like that and they had been been together ever since and they're back and since then they've been back making um, back making the Christian albums again they, they recanted from this um, I don't know. My, I mean, it's my opinion, but if they stayed together, I don't know if they could have bounced back from this. I mean, if they went back to, back to doing what they were doing with the message, I don't know if they could have bounced back from this. 
or people still would have accepted them. That's, you know, we'll never know because, you know, they didn't uh, make any albums after this. They, like I said, they had, Mike had left the band and they just went their way, separate ways for a while. So, but it's a good thing they got back together. I mean, they're on fire. They made great albums one after another. So, I don't think there's anything any stopping them now. I mean, they're, they're getting up to their mid 50s. But they're still going at it. So uh, anyway, that's my take on that. Um, like I said, I'll leave some links in the description box. Y'all can check them out if you like. So, so thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody for checking them out my video. Um, so uh, I'll see you on the next one. Y'all, y'all take it easy.